Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the first Chaos um, Developers Meeting in 2024. Can you hear me clearly? Yep. We okay. Can. Okay. Um, Kinsley, is this your first time of attending um, the Devs Focus Group Meeting? Let me share the doc. Hi, Kinsley. I think I'm, this is the first time I'm seeing you in the meeting. Mm. Yeah. I've been seeing you very active on GitHub, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, if you can't um, speak right now, you can actually write to the chat session. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be sharing the doc right now. You can just write your name and um, your primary programming language. Ruth, what's your primary programming language? <laughs> Enough can answer for me. <laughs> Enough can answer for my head. You write your name, I'll, I'll put. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tochiku. Okay. Ooh. All right. I think I think Kinsley. Okay, Kinsley is still available. Um, Chidalu, hi. How are you doing? Okay. Hi, hi everyone. Hello. I'm fine. How are you, Michael? Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Right. Okay. So um, people are beginning to join in now. Hi, this morning. Hello. 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 Good to have you here. Okay, yeah. so like I said in the chat that it's been a while. Um, we're trying to find a time, a meeting time that is very convenient for everyone. Sorry about the noise in my background. A lot of um people walking the hall no has been oh oh. All right then. Um. So, we were trying to find a meeting time that is convenient for almost everyone because the one we had the last time was happening at seven o'clock, um, West African time, and that was um very inconvenient for most people who had gone to work and would be returning home and all around that time. So, um, we just thought that um having this on Thursday afternoons. Alternative, alternate, um, to alternate with the Chaos Africa sync meeting would work. So, um, let's see how it goes. I'm seeing a few people here, and I'm just assuming that probably because it was just um announced yesterday. So I hope that um subsequently we would have more people. But today, um, what we would like to do is to introduce people to um the project badging now that um we have it launched and open for contribution so um we want to have a workshop that we introduce the project badging and then the badging api such that um, people have an understanding of what the project is all about and then um new comments can easily refer to this um recorded session anytime they enter into the focus group so that we don't have to like uh, keep repeating the workshop or um, the contributors getting confused about the project. So that's why we are here today and um, Hinok is going to be introducing us to the Bajan API, why Tochuku would be talking about the front-end aspect of the project Bajan. Yes, so uh, who would like to go first? Enoch, would you like to go first? Okay, just Enoch. before that. Okay, <laughs> I think Enoch has a, a class. A time, so mm -hmm. we can just, we'll just talk about that later. But Enoch, please go ahead. <laughs> and thank you for putting documentation there. It's documentation is a, a, a programming language. What What did you say, Ruth? No, Enoch fixed my programming <laughs> language. <laughs> Documentation, okay. All right, please go ahead, Enoch. 
<laughs> All right, guys, this call is being recorded. So, um, <laughs> good mo. Uh, I almost said good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, uh, sometimes when I get so technical, I'm not sure whether people are like following up or that's what I was supposed to talk about. But I'm, I'm thinking. Let me share my screen and then, um. Uh, see how we can structure this. Oh. I almost yawned in front of the camera. okay looks like uh, no it's not what i want to share okay I hope I'm sharing the GitHub screen now. Huh? Is it? Yes, yes, the budget oh. API. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Awesome. Um, um so I think I think one one thing we've talked about that I've not really done up to now, or we've not really done up to now, is uh board organized because now that um we are going to have these meetings recurring every after two weeks every after another week it's probably good if we have this updated most of these are not this is out of debt sometimes some of them get updated automatically but i'm sure there's there is stuff missing here so um this board is basically combining um the the budging the front end and the back end so there are two projects in here so i think it will save us time when this is always updated i hope we can uh, we can find ways of getting this automated and updated since since i have some of the since since, since i know where some of the issues are at the moment i will try to place them in their right queues here because uh it will give us clue of who is working on what and where is what and how do we continue with that. So that's what I wanted to put out at first. And then um, the second thing is um, when you come to the budging organization, we really have a lot of um, projects here, but the only ones that are active is budging API, budging and budging bot. Now for budging bot actually, um, every code that you see inside the budging bot here was migrated and put inside the budging api so this is inactive the only active ones are these these and these so when i go to budging api um under the event budging that's where you meet all the code that is related to event budging and event budging is um the code that supports the budging the budging bot if i can um uh, for those of you who have interacted with some of the event budging stuff that happens under this um repository whereby um someone applies for a badge and then um, people review it and it gets budged so if you come and open one of the issues here whenever you see something called like budging bot just know all the logic that happened was because of the code that was inside the budging api um i just transferred it it's really not i i hope we can integrate it within the whole code inside but i just carried the folder and placed it inside here and probably will structure it later or someone else will structure it later when um we can open up that issue and there is someone to work on it but for reference 
if you want to know how the budging uh, bot works, you can come or is come here whenever you look at um, a comment under any issue that is um, under the event diversity and inclusion, you can then know that it was worked, it was an automation that came from this logic under here. So that's one other thing I wanted to put across. Okay, and so then, you know, um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I have a question. So um, does that mean that any further contribution on the badging board is, should be carried out in the badging API and not... Yeah, I should I should actually archive that right now. All right. You're right. Yeah. I okay, think, cool. I wanted to say that, but I didn't, I think I didn't say it in the, in the straight way that you said it, but that's right. Okay. Uh, I will archive this so that people do not. Uh... But it's interesting when you archive a repository, you find someone commenting on an issue. So I think also maybe you would um, put it in the readme of this uh, repository that it's been, the implementation has been um, moved oh. to. Yeah. yeah, someone wants to work on that. Um, so that we can and I'm going to move all these issues too. Um, but someone wants to take that up because it's important, I think. Um, somewhere in the readme up there. Can you go to the can you go to the code? Yeah, let's see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Mean. I think there should be a very head, a big head header here somewhere. Um okay. Well so then you want to take that up. Now that makes this some of this documentation so stale. <laughs> um, Ruth, you said you're going to do that. No, I didn't say so. <laughs> I can, does anyone want to take it um, just to add? So what I would suggest, let's just um know what needs to be done. I'm noting them down. Then we now have okay, so, to people. Um, mm -hmm. So Ruth is suggesting, which is actually good that. Since we're archiving this repository and we're moving of the moving the code to the budging API repository, it is important somewhere in the readme here to say our office has moved to, to a particular location under here so that someone is like, okay, this was archived. So what's up? Where is it? Like the project, is it still all up and running? So um, that's what Ruth was suggesting. You got it, Adeinka? Yes, I get it. What I'm saying is um, I'm noting all of these things down. Ah. And then we can then go back um, to the um, focus group and then begin to like assign to people. Because right. um, I'm sure most of the people that are here already have one or, one or two things that they have been assigned to currently. Um, let me yeah. see. Let me see. Don't let me assume. Yeah, yeah you're sure. Okay. <laughs> assuming so um um uh, where well, my brain was structured until the issue yeah came. i thought about the events part and you're trying to explain the move like the the move right. for oh yes 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 um so uh our 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 code i'm hoping is so nasty but for someone who is really who wants to contribute I'm just thinking they, they can navigate their way. I've really tried to be so available to make sure people are finding uh, are finding their way through what they want to contribute to, because I know we do not have the best documentation. I would tell you to go to contributing.md and um, it gives you 70% um, of the start of how to get this project all started up. But for those of you who want to contribute, um, one file that would be good for you to look at would be um, this. And most importantly, of course, this project is in JavaScript, so you can run it using like NPM and um, it's a node thing. So you must have an M file. Uh, that M file has uh, a .m.example file. So it has all these, um, all these um, environmental variables. And these environmental variables are 
are environmental variables you have to set up yourself before you actually start running the whole um start after cloning after cloning even before cloning the whole repository part before running the, the whole project you'd need to have all these in your hand and you may copy and paste them in a .m file um or when you run npm run dev or run start it is going to automatically call some code that is in this um configure.js and it will help you run those things automatically in your in your terminal so it's two way you can either create a .m file and then come to the .m.example and look at the things you need to create. And um, how to create some of these, uh, at least it's explained in the contributing.md um, where you will have to have, like you will need Node.js and NPM installed on your machine and also MySQL. And then you can um, set up a database. The database should um, of course have a database user and a password because you'll have to fill them inside um, your .m file somewhere down here. Um, I think we use MySQL, but um, I just put this thinking that sometime in future, we are going to like uh, be flexible enough and probably move to Postgres or any other um, SQL, um, any other database that is um, SQL structured, but some of these, if you run, uh, probably I can just run, no, but I don't think we have time for real. Let me, let me, let me just um, take some more nine minutes. Um, <clears throat> so there is a difference between the GitHub auth app and GitHub app. I think some people who have tried to run this get confused about those two, but if you go to contributing.md, there is there are links for that. There is a difference between a GitHub or auth app and a GitHub app, but you will need to create um you'll need to create um, environmental variables for both of those. That's why they are both provided here. And then for GitLab, you'll need only the GitHub, the, the GitLab auth app. And then the email configuration, email host, um, basically, I think I'll put comments. Well, let me just create my issue for that. I'll put comments on, uh, besides these so that you can understand what exactly each of the configuration um, environmental variables means. Because now email host means like um, I using Gmail, I using Hotmail, I using... Um, um why mail or yahoo mail i use in um so that's what we mean by email host an email address of course your email address but password is a different thing it's not like your email password yeah um google provides something called uh an email app which you can use to authenticate third-party apps to use your email for sending emails so that's why i'm saying i may need to put um I may need to put comments besides this. Uh, Adink, are you recording that too? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. All right. Because I may start saying a lot of things that I'm going to do, and then I'm, I only do one of them, yet I said like five of them. So that's the most important thing. because You cannot run this project if you have one of these things missing. Well, you can, but at least somewhere, somehow, this project is going to fail while you are tackling an issue. And it is important that you test out these issues. That's why I wanted to bring out this .env.example file. And um, someone is working on the contributing.md and they're really so slow, but since this is like a beginner thing and documentation is one of the things that you can have entry in contributing, I am also so patient with them and trying to guide them so that um, they can come up with a well good documentation that covers at least everything inside here. But I at least believe that um, what is here can get you 70% started and then we can chat. The documentation is um, put up. We can chat on one-on-one -on -one and I get you started on where you're having an issue. Yeah, but otherwise, <clears throat> after you get all those env uh, environmental variables set up, um, the only other thing you need to do um, our root our root file is the index.js 
and this has like um, the starting logic for where you can start tracing all the other code from. So when you run npm run dev, um, it will call this file and of course um, the magic will start happening. That is if you have your database already installed and um, if you have your GitHub um, API keys already is already um, supplied and your GitLab API keys and probably your Gmail because you may want to test out whether um, an email is being sent to someone or to yourself to test out how it looks like and whether that process all works. So if you have everything set up, stuff will start running um, automatically. Um, <clears throat> one thing we have not, that I've not talked about is um, while you make a pull request to, to this, um, to this, to, to, to this repository, um, their tests I disabled. One, because they were failing and yet we were adding in a lot of code. Oh. But for one, for one reason, some people think that they have an issue related with uh, DCO. I want to point out that sometimes you may sign your commits and this thing is going to fail. I really don't know for one and a half years I've been figuring out what the issue could be. There are more technical people who have figured it out too, but I just don't know why this this is all thing. Oh, well, I click on the details. Yeah, I, I I know I can set it to pass, but seriously, yeah. why do I need to come? Always. Well, are you sure they signed? Like for this person, the person signed the commits. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, actually, for this one, looks like they didn't sign. But um, uh, let me just go here. Yeah. So for this person, they didn't they didn't sign, but even for those that sign sometimes, you may find that this this DCO is failing. I know Ruth, you've also encountered this. I've encountered it sometimes. Mm. But yeah. um if 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 you if you are sure you've signed your commits and um you find this DCO thing here failing. Um, you shouldn't worry because um, we can always just come here and set it to pass before every other thing is merged. So for now, that's the only check that's available. The others were disabled because of uh, because at that point we were writing a lot of code and we compromised on yeah let's let some things break if um, we are to move fast. So but. When you see other tests, they should actually pass. For this one, you shouldn't mind about it. But the moment we add more other tests, they should pass before you actually be sure that your code is going to be reviewed or what. So um, I can't speak everything that is inside this code, but I just wanted to point out the things, the common FAQs that I've been having while I've been interacting with people on one-on-one -on -one and um, just to make sure that I address those here. Otherwise, um, let me give chance to other people to speak before I before I leave. Okay, not not before I leave, but before like I. Oh, I have some two minutes of my nine minutes that I asked. Uh, please, for Agar. Those of you who want to contribute to Agar, there is a meeting that is dedicated to Agar. Let me just make sure my calendar says that right. Uh, on Mondays, if you could check on the case calendars on Mondays, that meeting was put for agar technical staff, the way you see this meeting. And um, Sean and I talked yesterday and there is there is um, a new project, not a project, but there is uh, there are new stuff that want to be put on the agar website concerning the UI. So they may be need for designers and front end developers who can write Django HTML and also those th those that are um, have no I can write Django HTML skills, so huh? so, pardon I can write Django HTML just so you know uh, yeah oh let me add that to the meeting um. <laughs> yeah, so um, I just wanted to point that that out for Agar. So you could go to your calendar on Mondays and check where you see Agar eight node metrics models and software stack management, something like that. So there are discussions about um what is happening in Agar. So currently in Agar, just in a minute, um, um, Agar also has re 
came to expand the way badging is trying to expand and it reached a time whereby the code was looking organized, but it is actually everywhere. So um, right now the core team on Aga is trying to, to make sure that this code is actually beginner friendly and um, they are not really making a lot of changes at the moment. So uh, if you could. Can you no, can you? Sorry mm -hmm. to cut you. So let's so so we don't deviate because there's some people that don't know what Augur is right now. So I can talk about Augur later, and then we can I can okay. direct them. There. But there are some questions on the chat, and then I think I should raise the hand. Kinsley mm -hmm. has a question. Yeah. I think I've answered Kinsley's question. Of if he said it looks like an express code base, uh, is this more like a mono repo? Um, but I I pointed him to the front end. This is more the back end implementation, right? And then the front end is for badging slash badging, right? So that that question was answered. Then I think I think uh someone else had Desmond has a question. Oh, about, people were typing yeah, in the Yeah, exactly. SMT credentials. Looking at another screen. Yeah. So if you can look at Desmond's question and then maybe Catherine. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, uh, Ruth will speak more about Aga. Um, I just wanted to make sure um, before I leave, I've at least um, addressed some of the things happening in Aga. And for those of you who may want to, 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 to know more about it, where you could find it. Um, SMT Have you seen the credentials will work right for that email. Um, I want to say I've not, um, I don't know what you mean by SMTP credentials, but you can try to 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 expand to expand that. Okay, so you know maybe I should ask what exactly is needed for the email to work, because uh, if we have answers to the orders and we don't know how the email works, the code is not going to run. So could you quickly um touch on that for um, the EMV? Well, uh... Oh yeah, here. Am I still sharing my screen? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because I'm having like three screens. So I... Um. So uh, for the email here, um. The 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 module we use to to for the email for for the email configuration is not like a, an SMTP module, and um. Well, um, for the email host, I said you could um, have any host that is um, either Gmail, Hotmail, Ymail, um, Outlook, anything that you're using that your email is tied to. If it's Gmail, you just put under email host Gmail and your email address. And then for the password, um, if you have like an email on um, Yahoo or Gmail, or as in email settings, there is... Um, somewhere in, in in the email apps whereby they provide you with either a code or a password that you can use to always um, configure third party email clients so that they can send emails on your behalf. I I, I will, for, I use Gmail, we use Gmail and sometimes I'm not sure where to locate that um, setting at, at once. Sometimes I need to like move around the documentations, but if um at the UK you could also write that down. I that's why mm -hmm. I said I will comment. Besides this, probably I will comment it. I'll comment here using a link to okay. where you can um set that up. Okay, so um you know before you go in five minutes, could you please um tell us what is going on with project budget and the direction we are taking All the right. project budget so that people will have an understanding and they know how to contribute. Okay. Um, so um, for those of you who always would love to attend Wednesday's meetings, um, that is where we have the non-technical stuff of what happens, but just to reiterate what happened yesterday and what has been happening before. Um, first of all, every issue you meet under badging or badging API and has not been assigned or has been assigned, is one of the things that we're working on at the moment. There is no issue here that it, that is stale. Every issue is valid to work on. So that's one of the things we're working on. Some of the issues here and some of the issues that are not here 
uh, tackling um, badging. Let me just open up our website. So if you look at this website here, the badging website, um, we have the project badging and under project badging, we have badge projects. And currently we also want to have that for the event badging. So when you go here, it will redirect you to this table, but we want to migrate this table so that it comes under here, the way you see project badging. Someone has already taken that up, but they've not made any pull request at the moment. And probably- Yeah, I'm the one working on it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, Desmond. Um, the other thing that we are working on is when you go to project badging here to apply for a badge, um, when you go to apply for self posted projects, it will take you to this link. And um, what we want to do is we want it to like take you to a form still in this website instead of you navigating out of this website. There is already an issue for that. Stuff has been designed. I'm thinking someone has been assigned that too, but I'm not sure. But when you go to the front end and you look at an issue that is related to this, if it's not been assigned, you can comment under it. Um, the third thing that we're working on currently is related to the mobile, the mobile, um, the mobile view. So um, we do not have really a perfect mobile view, and I would be okay with this. But one thing I'm not okay with the header is. Nowhere to be seen. Are you guys seeing um, how, how the mobile view is looking like here? If I, if, I, if, I, if I increase this, if I try to increase this, it has a header here. Yeah. But when I decrease this, I know it is somewhere there, but the CSS can't allow it. So when I decrease this, there is no header anywhere and I can't jump from here to any other place unless I know the URLs. So um, that's also another critical thing we're working on. And I already opened an issue for that. It's really priority, but I didn't want to jump on it because I know it is a CSS issue and um, it's beginner friendly. So um, someone who wants to do the bug hunting for that, you can also bring that up. So. Um, for this period, those are the three things we are tackling. Um, there are other things related to back end that are more of like logging. Our faith took that up, um, but um, I'm, I'm just guessing we don't have enough time really. I want to give chance to the other people on the agenda to speak, but at least I've answered um, some of the current things that we're working on. Yeah, And I try to, put, and, I, and I try to like put, I'm going to also add um, labels here because I try to put these labels here so that I help people understand what the things are really about. And if you also go to the front end issues, um, I'm trying my best to put labels here so that you can know whether something is what you're interested in or not. Also for UI and UX, I try to put those labels there and also front end stuff or whether it's medium or whether it's a beginner friendly or whether it's hard and um, stuff like that. Some of them don't have, but I think um, I'll, those, there is need to update every issue with the labels to help everyone who wants to contribute. All right, I'm done. Tochiku has a question. Thank you very much, Enoch. I see Tike's hand up. Okay. Yep. Please go ahead, Dr. Chico. TK, if you can hear us. And please, Catherine. Please. Okay, Catherine can speak if TK is looking for his mic. Okay. Uh hi everyone. Uh, hi, Enoch. It's hi. finally nice to see you and talk to you. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's about my project. <laughs> Every time Catherine makes Apple. it, like she's been looking for me. Yes, I've been looking very, very much for you. But um, yeah, it's about the project. I don't know if you remember the conversations we had about the privacy issue. 
um, we had talked briefly on Slack and you mentioned that it's a configuration issue that you had made on your end. So I was hoping we could fix it. Um, you mean for the AFOS? Yes, because uh, I think that time when you were working with you on it, it's it's, I think I hadn't mentioned that now it's something we'll be maintaining under chaos. So it's oh something we God. definitely need to have. I hope Adinka is not have down have because um, probably I can also give that to someone. It's an interesting issue to work on. Um, uh -huh. If I can assign it to someone who wants to work with um, some server related stuff and engineers. Yeah. So I think, you know, remember Desmond was supposed to get like some details into this as well as a meeting we had before some weeks ago, right? So like that's also something I was going to talk to you about or even I think Desmond wanted to work on that, like creating, I think was he a new domain or a new server or something for... And we didn't have a meeting again. That was the first and last. <laughs> but there was an action like them to do it. <laughs> And, and the action item was like waiting for the next meeting. Okay, but anyway, yeah, um, since since we're now having I've posted the yeah, I've posted the link to the yeah, I'm looking for the report to the repo because oh my it's, god, you know, now it's not connect, yeah. Okay. Am I watching this? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, um, just so trying to the link. is noting all these down so that um, we can come back to them one by one and make sure we are not missing yeah. out on anything. Um, yeah, so if you click on the link um, to the website, it had uh, an issue of... Or is it... Yeah. Oh my God. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand this is like an SSL thing. Um, Yeah, and then this is an Nginx thing. The server was deleted. <laughs> <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, no worries. I look, since someone is going to take that up, I will help them to uh -huh. point to them to where they can put that stuff so that they can get the server back up and running. Okay. Enoch, right. Enoch, you need to put a date to it, okay? Because um, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm saying I'm trusting that you're writing these things down. So <laughs> come back to We've been writing this forever, Enoch. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm putting it down for the last time, and I'm going to hunt you down. <laughs> Just take my word for it, okay? Desmond is also laughing about it. Uh, all right. Um. Tochiku, okay, I think TK just resigned, um, but I'm done. I'm I think done. I have one more thing. So as regards documentation, right, I think that um, this is like for budget APIs. So um, mm -hmm. I think you referenced, um, you referenced um, you know, the, the projects not having um, and if like uh, the documentation, uh, which is something that people will find hard to navigate, right? So one question is, um, should we set that as something to do this year, like have it the proper documentation for badging API? Um, that's one. Um, two is, do we do it as a community or because just it's around the corner? Um, is it something we can? And if it's going to, and you're 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 really going to be involved in that because um, budget you built it right. So if somebody's going to help with documentation, like documenting this, um, you will be involved in it. So yeah, so those are two questions. I I I think just saw the registration is like done, isn't it? I think they are still taking organization are still. Giving interest, but first, first thing, can we do this as a community? Like, is it something we can build up together as a community, like for the documentation? Um, I'm yeah. for G, just the thoughts we can put it out for GSOC. I don't know. So, um, uh, are we saying GSOC or GSOD, SOD or SOC? 
Gisot, um, Google. Google Summer of Document. Season of, of Docs. Okay. Yeah, season yeah. Of Okay, this month um, can do it as a community. It's fine. I think that's right. Yeah, um, I think I think for now, um, uh, we have this contributing.md file that is um, and also a readme that I think we can just try to add in some few things. Well, um, as the project is getting big and big and contributions are happening. Um, looks like we may not be able to update this manually and looks like we may need to auto orientation because um, sometimes it gets hard to track or to, 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 to remember that, oh, a change happened and the documents are out of date. So please, please, let's go update that. And sometimes when people are contributing, they, they, they do not know what actually is changing the documentation. But for now, I think this code is still is still manageable to write a documentation for it, but I am also thinking in future as we go on, it's probably a project someone would pick up for for an internship and we migrate to automating this documentation stuff because it really gets so outdated so fast. But right now I'm fine, I'm fine helping out the community and anyone interested in the just indicated interest in doing that as well. So okay. So uh, um Ruth, this is perhaps a different conversation that would take um, a sync. Um especially with regards to the documentation. Probably we might have to assemble uh like a, a technical documentation team that will do that sit down because right now I think um they are lying low for now. We can just revive that and let them work side by side with uh, people like this more than you know they can get it done. Yeah true I, I do agree because like right. not just even yeah before now um Bajin bought used to have a particular documentation right it had mm -hmm. its own documentation it was somebody you saw the project as well. Somebody filled it. No problem. If you go to the archive. Okay. So we have like say 13 minutes more. And, and I think I would like Catherine to come up now. So I uh, can speak so that Sorry, um, yeah. Sorry, one question. Yeah, please I can, we can hear you clearly. Oh, I can't hear you. I've only had big malink. Big malink, sorry. I dropped off at some point. I don't know. My network has been Um the Figma link. I hope this is the one. Sometimes I mess them up and I'm not okay. Okay. I, I, I know this is not like the the one combining everything, but at least it leads you to there and you can navigate to where you want. Yeah, and this is probably something that should a viewable fashion should be on the on the with me or somewhere. Okay. Uh yeah, yeah. Um yeah, I think have you put that down too? <laughs> Please say yeah. that again. Um, Ruth is saying, uh, this this Figma link should be somewhere. Link. The oh, the or somewhere yeah. that it should be a viewable link. A viewable link of the Figma of the whole entire project, and that's since they can provide that should be added to like the readmes or maybe the contributing guide so that people can like okay. win okay. their. Um, and then also another thing is those issue and PR templates. Because also when I try to create issues, sometimes adding context is hard. So okay. an issue and a PR template, it's whereas people are creating issues, there will be context added and even when they are creating pull requests. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. Noted. <laughs> okay. Um, are we good now? Can Catherine come up? Yeah, I see. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm I'm done. I'm done. Okay. 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 Catherine, you can go. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I covered most of what um I wanted to talk about because with our force, um, I think that's been the main problem because we can't work on any other issues until we fix the um the privacy the privacy issue uh, that would allow us to access the website. So. Once that is fixed, then now we can discuss um, what other features to build on what we did, because what we built was uh, it was it was just a static website for that particular period. But now I'm looking at different ways to make it more um, functional. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm hoping that uh, Enoch, that's something that will be fixed very soon. Okay, so that means that um, yeah, once the once the server is up and running, we have to invite you again to mm -hmm. have a workshop with us for introduce us because there are some new developers in the community that were in around when we um okay. created our project. So it would be nice to introduce them to the project and um mm -hmm. help them uh, give them a direction of how they can contribute and the new functionalities that we want to okay. add to the project thank you thank okay you. great um one th what okay. I, sorry i uh, just uh, thought of a question i wanted to ask is design also involved in this meeting the design team led by kingsley yeah that's a good question um they, they have yeah. their own team right um but i think there's some uh -huh. there should be some things like they have their meetings of Mondays, Mondays by eleven a.m. Okay. So I don't know. Is is your suggestion? Uh, do you have a suggestion to involve them in this meeting, or is there any way we can? Because then I think there's some thing that has to go on, right? So what is yes. your um, my suggestion is we can try it. We can do maybe one meeting where we have the design team and the development team um we discuss what gaps are remaining on some of these projects because i remember for our force the main challenge we had especially during hacktoberfest is um i think because of everything that was going on and getting people to contribute to it was a bit um tricky because maybe they were not part of the core team um or within design right so maybe if we can have just one meeting where we sync uh, everything that design is doing so that also the developers know what is coming up um, and also so that the designers know that what they are working on is expected from the design from the development team mm -hmm. then some of these projects might move, move faster they might mm. move faster than before because yeah, because I feel like um, when we operate in the silos, you know, design has their own silo. So they might not know that a particular project that they are working on is urgent to the development team because they are not in our meetings and vice versa. So that I feel like sense. that's where the disconnect might come from. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to reach out to Kinsley. Okay. okay. There's something I want to ask. Yes, I'm sorry. So, um, can this happen during the Chaos Africa meeting? This is something that it has to be a standalone meeting because, like, I mm. know a lot of like having agenda topics. Sometimes it's it's like the agenda topic is repetitive, right? So, is this something that can go yeah. on like can all sing together in the de like the Chaos Africa meeting and create that conversation or should we still have it separate? Yeah, we can have it during the okay. Chaos Africa meeting because we already have that in the calendar. So people instinctively know that they need to attend that meeting. So it might not be too hard to get everyone on board. So yeah, I think it can happen. Yes, um, I, I also yeah. support this. Yeah, Kingsley is not your king. <laughs> There's another Kingsley that is in design. So. Oh. Yes. Oh, I thought it was Kingsley, our designer, and I thought he changed his name. Oh, so. no. 
Um, <laughs> Ruth, I okay. think I also agree, but let's have um, the meeting um, on during Chaos Africa's uh, sync meeting. Yeah, that works. And then to Kinsey's question, yes, it's, I think. Um, I have already answered them. Fucking the repository is better because then it's a better way to. Hi. Yeah, good afternoon. Sorry, I don't know what happened to my mic. I couldn't unmute. And then I actually asked a question. I was wondering why that hamburger isn't displaying because that's part of what actually worked on. Oh, you've uh, already worked on it. It's okay. I mean, before now. You know, oh, as the PR being created, yeah, I'm actually what did you say? As the PR being matched, no, no, like I've worked on this before now. Like, you know, I think maybe before... should... I'm not sure why, and I'm not sure why it's, it's not working. Um, so maybe you can also check it, but um, I'm not sure why myself. Okay, Enoch has left the meeting, I guess. Yeah, he had class. So job. I mean, Toshiko, if you want to work on it, because I created an issue now, so if you want to work on it, then I can just remove myself from it, because I, I just created an issue now. Um, No, no, it's fine if you want to work on it. I just wanted to know why it's not there. You know, sometimes, you know, when we design, perhaps by someone mistakenly removed, Moved it so we can find a way yeah, around how to fix that so it doesn't work. Yeah, work I yeah, I'll speak to Enoch. Because I have it on my local machine. I'll speak to Enoch about it. I thought he was, I thought he's still yeah, there. Yeah, we can also check the code, maybe then figure out where it was removed from or something. I think the PR is there. I can check the, the close PRs or something as well. Um, Maybe at some point. Okay. Yeah, that's no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Chidalu, um, if you look at the chat session, if you feel my indicated interest in um, also working on that issue. So probably both of you can work together. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Mm -hmm. So if you my, if you can hear me, um, please just check out the issue that has been created by um Chidalu, and then you guys can communicate. And work on it. Thank you. Um, Ruth, I think we are okay. done for today, right? So okay, just before we finish, um, I wanted to kind of give an overview of the projects that are in chaos, right? As a whole, and like the ones that we kind of have control of, like in this meeting, and then also the ones that have external meetings, like I think Inok was talking about it all point. Um, let me share my screen. Give me a minute. So this one is working. Um, to... sorry, and everybody see my screen. Okay. Um. So one thing is, um, I think I shared this particular project on. I think somebody asked for the link. So there are some open issues here that have not been assigned. So you can check. Now, I think these two are kind of related. I don't know, hamburger, mobile responsiveness, they're kind of related. So I'm working yeah. on it and look at also this issue. So for other people, you can check some of the issues here and um, you know, request that you can get assigned to them. And then maybe a day in card that board that Enoch talked about, you can also try to like organize the I think there are some issues that are not on that board. Where the hell is it? Okay, here. Okay. There are some of these issues that are not on that board. So we can now start like adding them there. Right? Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. to make things. Yes, this is the board. So let me know if you do not have access to this board. I can uh okay there. But yeah, no. we can start organizing. Yeah. Um, no problem. And that's for badging. But I also wanted to, I think I was doing something here, um, where talking about the difference with development projects and websites that are in the Chaos Project, not just Chaos Africa, um, because 
Chaos Africa develop developer focus group we have contributed we should contribute to like not just the projects that we have control over but also other projects um but these are the ones that i don't think i'm i'm skipping anyone but now for grimoire lab um it's if you come to chaos software here right if you come to this, the chaos of community so that's the website that i'm going to Chaos the community software. Sorry, I think my network is kind of poor. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so if you come to this particular repo, you'd see an overview of both what Grimoire Lab is about and what Augur is, is about. Now Grimoire Lab, um it's being con it's been managed by Peterja. So I will find a way that somebody can come do a workshop here about Grimoire Lab, just the way we've done similar thing about badging, the badging API. Um, Somebody will come do like a proper workshop about Grimoire Lab. Um, Augur is managed by, she's maintained by Sean, Sean Goggins, and he has like a particular meeting that he talks about Augur and like Enoch was saying earlier that there are some implementations that there are some things they want to do in the future about Augur needing design and also like, on development on like the front end i think he said with django html and stuff so that's the two major softwares we have right and for augur to get um to get to get into that meeting if you check the calendar we go to chaos calendar here you'd see and augur is built with python so if you're more python um uh, python i think there's some bit of like uh um react i don't know on the front end or something but this python django html trying to let this thing load. so if you check i think the augur meetings happen on mondays at uh this is 9 a.m central time um but i think this should be around what's 9 a.m central time let me check my calendar and you can add it once you add it to your calendar it's going to like um convert so you don't have to, I think it's evening our time. I'm just trying to check. It's about 4 p.m. or 3 p.m. or so. So you can, this is where the Augur meetings happen. So you can join those meetings and get more involved in like contributing to Augur as a project, right? As a software project. Um. <laughs> Now the the main the, the way we have um control over another thing is this website. This website is a is a WordPress website. So um most of the implementation are being done by the admins. There are people that manage this website here as admins. So if you're WordPress, you know, you have and currently there's no major issues or there's no major fixes that's going on with with the website. So um, I don't think it's just something that we update sometimes when when need be. I know there have been conversations about um the knowledge base kind of like improving the search for the knowledge base. No, this is not where I was supposed to go to. Um yeah, metrics. There's some um conversation in, in the weekly meeting to improve or the search for the knowledge base. But like this thing doesn't give a good result when it says, but that's, it's more of like, you need to be an admin to manage this um, because it's a WordPress. There are some implementation that is, is on the repository, but it's mainly WordPress. Um, But for like fixes, like changing a text in this, I think there are some that are pulling from Markdown. So WordPress and Markdown, that's where um the main websites, the, the main things, the uh, programming, the stack for the main website, right? And then with what we have a lot of control over in Chaos Africa, um, I mean, I mean control over, I mean as maintainers and like in a lot of contexts is badging initiatives, like the whole badging initiative and AFOS, right? This um, AFOS, like the African open source um, website that we built last year, um, and then Catherine will talk more about that in the future. So today we have just talked about the badging initiative, which is which has a lot of moving parts. You know, talked about like the the backend implementation. I think next next time, I think Dr. Chuku can or Dr. Chuku are precious and 
uh, or even they can talk more about the front end implementation. But right now there are some issues and um that are available. So I just want to give like an overview there of like the software development projects and the ones that we have like a lot of control over as maintainers and then the ones that you can externally attend some other meetings. Um, I would really recommend that as developers we also attend like the weekly meetings that happen on Tuesdays because there's a lot more conversation that goes on in those meetings um, as well about the chaos project entirely and like not just contributing on like not just contributing but participating in the conversations also helps give you more context about where the kind of like the project's going and the community is going and even asking questions and you know conversing on the chat and working with other people too as well um would help so that's i think that's what i wanted to share i don't know if it's okay yeah so over to Adinka. thank you so much does anyone have any question for ruth before we go anyone anyone raising their hands Okay, thank you everyone for attending. I know it was short, but uh, you showed up and I'm grateful for that. So till we meet next time, that's in two weeks time. Um, Next week for sync meeting in Chaos Africa and then the next one for the developer meeting. But then a security uh, communication will be going on in the dev channel. So look out for that. Thank you, everyone, and then we'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, bye. I think I sent you a DM. No problem. Yeah, bye.